Concept getters, how are you? I hope everything is going well and that you're going to understand the concept of this specific video and you understood the concepts broken down in the previous video for general solution, right? So let's do this specific question. We have sine squared a plus 4 cos squared a equals to 4 sine a cos a. You can see now we have sine and cos, guys. So this is going to basically, to a certain degree, is going to lead us to, to tan, right? But let's see which type of uh, algebra we're going to apply, right? So I will transpose the one on my right-hand side and I will transpose it, transpose it to the right-hand side, this side, okay? So let's see. I'm going to say sine squared a plus 4 cos squared a. Then I'll say minus 4 sine a cos a. And then I'll say equals to 0. So this looks like x squared plus four and cos will be y so let's say y squared minus four x y equals to zero the minute you have an algebraic equation like this we will need this y to be here right right and then you'll factorize and i taught you on a particular video how to factorize something like this if you forgot or if you haven't watched the video you'll find it in the description okay so let's do it so i'm gonna say let me raise this i'm gonna say sine squared a minus 4 sine a cos a plus 4 cos squared a is equals to 0. So now I see this is my x, x, this is y, y squared. So I can factorize this basically, right? So remember to watch that video in the description. So I'll have something like this and something like this, and I'll say equals to zero, right? So factors of sine squared a will be sine a and sine a. And factors of 4 cos squared a will give me what? That's going to give me the 4 sine cos. It's going to give me what? 2 cos a and 2 cos a. Right, the middle term is negative, last term is positive, which means both the terms in the brackets will be negative. So we'll have negative, negative. Right? Remember, guys, if you don't know how to factorize uh, an algebraic equation of this kind, there's a video. So just go to the description and watch, click on that algebra video and watch it, and then come back to this again. It will be like, ah, this is easy, right? So as we continue, we're gonna say zero factor theorem. So I'm gonna say I have sine a minus 2 cos a is equals to 0 or sine a minus 2 cos a equals to 0. This is the same thing, guys. So I can basically just say, therefore, remember, I'll make my sine a the subject of the formula transpose. I'll have sine a is equals to 2 cos a. Now, because I have sine and cos on either side, I will always, always, guys, divide by cos. Cos has to be a denominator for you to get a tan. Why? Because tan A is equals to sine A over cos A, right? So cos has to always be a denominator. So that's why you have to divide by, by cos all the time when you want tan. So I'll say, I'll say sine A over cos A is equals to 2 cos a over cos a and the cos and cos will cancel each other i'll be left with remember here it's cos a so cos and cos cancel each other i'll be left with sine over cos is 10 so i'll have tan a is equal to 2 right and then i will want my my reference angle i'll say my reference angle is what a will be 10 the inverse of 2 and when you punch it on your calculator you're going to find that your A will be 63,43 degrees. Easy, right? Then once you find your reference angle, the step, remember, guys, I always say this. Once you find the reference angle, the step that matters the most is this one. The step that comes before you find the reference angle. That's the step you check. What are you going to check on the step? You're going to check this answer here. You check if it's positive or negative. If it's positive... Let's say, because it's positive here, you're going to say tan is positive in which quadrant? You go to my UU diagram there, here, right? And I'll say, where do I see my T and my all? All is, remember, in here, all of them are positive. And my T is in here, which means in my third quadrant, 
my turn is positive. So which means I'll take the reference angle as it is. And here I will add 180 onto the reference angle. So I'll use the first quadrant and the third. Right? So I'll just be like on the first quadrant or on the third, uh, third quadrant. So I'll just say on the third quadrant. In the first quadrant, what do we have? We're going to say A is equal to A is equal to what? We take the reference angle as it is. And we're going to say 63,43 degrees. Then you say plus K 180 degrees, where K is the element of integers. Remember, for tan, K is always multiplied by 180. Right? And then on the third quadrant, you're going to say, you're going to say reference angle equals to what? 180 degrees plus this one here, right? Which is basically 63,43 degrees, then plus K 180 degrees, where K is the element of integers. And therefore, our A will be what? 180 plus 63,43 degrees will give me 243,43 degrees. Then you say plus K dot 180 degrees where k is the element of integers then you are done and you are done come on guys don't tell me don't tell me this is not easy guys you got the concept right remember you're gonna make sure that everything is equated to zero then you put it in a in a, in a, in a way that it looks like an algebraic equation where your sign can be represented by x and your cos can be represented by y and then you check which type of algebraic manipulation you're going to apply right and then you factorize if it needs factorization or taking out a common factor and then you use zero factor theorem you solve once you solve then it, you come to this part now part where you have sine and cos you have to divide by cos on both sides so that sine over cos can be tan and then it's a reference angle and then you choose based on the step before the reference angle. You check the step, the sign of the answer. If it's positive, you go to the quadrants where your turn is positive. And if it was negative, you are going to go to the quadrants where your turn is negative. And then you use the angles given here, right? Like here, you look at these things here. The theta will represent your reference angle. And that is just about it. Guys. That's how you do general solution for this type. And when you are done, remember, guys, the most important thing is you come in here and you do this and you go like, right? And then you're going to be, you're going to do what? Come on, guys. You're going to subscribe if you are new. Subscribe if you are new. And you're going to share with other concept getters and your classmates and your teacher so that she can share, share with others. Guys, let's share. Sharing is caring, right? And then you're going to like. Come on, guys. The liking. Guys, your, li your like game is very weak, guys. Come on. You can strengthen it. Like, 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 right? And then even your comment game. It's like I feel like only bots are watching these videos. Come on, guys. You are people. Let's talk, you know. And yeah, you know. Yeah.